We look at Korea's main industries and foreign investor success stories to present Korea's outstanding investment environment. Explore potential opportunities to grow with Korea. Hello, I'm Shin Ayoung. The global community is working together to find solutions to the problem caused by global warming, climate change, and depleting energy resources. One of them is hydrogen energy. The new hydrogen economy is rising fast as the next big industry in Korea. According to the McKinsey report, the global hydrogen market will grow by 6% annually from 2017 and account for 18% of the world's energy demand by 2050, worth approximately $2.549 trillion. Korea is responding promptly to the paradigm shift and penetrating the global hydrogen market. Despite the challenges in procuring necessary materials, Korea's hydrogen car exports increased by 7% in the first half of 2021 compared to the previous year. Many factors came into play, including the increasing demand for eco-friendly cars worldwide, stricter carbon emission regulations, and more diverse export models. As of August 2021, Korea has supplied 16,206 eco-friendly hydrogen cars, ranking first in the world. The demand is expected to rise. Korea imports 95% of its energy supply, but if a fixed amount of energy can be procured domestically through hydrogen economy, this will lead to a stable economic growth and energy security. Korea was the first in the world to successfully mass-produce hydrogen vehicles. 99% of the key parts are made domestically. The eco-friendly car market is expected to grow, driven by the two pillars of hydrogen cars and EVs. In order to establish a stable hydrogen economy, the government and private corporations launched the Hydrogen Convergence Alliance in 2021. Five major companies, including Hyundai Motor, will invest $35.2 billion in building a hydrogen-based ecosystem. In 2019, the government announced the Hydrogen Economy Roadmap that aims to make Korea a leading hydrogen economy in the world, driven by hydrogen cars and fuel cells. In January of 2020, the hydrogen law was legislated. According to the roadmap, Korea will supply 6.2 million hydrogen vehicles, including 40,000 buses, by 2040, and boost the production of hydrogen fuel cells for power generation to a capacity of 15 gigawatts, of which 8 gigawatts is to be exported. Its overall goal is to become the top player in the key utility fields. The Korean government's investment and the growth of the hydrogen industry will offer new business opportunities to foreign invested companies. Based on this background, multinational companies are already operating in Korea. Today, we'll meet one of them, a company that possesses global expertise and leading technology, AVL Korea, and listen to their successful investment story. Many multinational companies are already operating in Korea and growing together. AVL Korea is one of them, and it's a company that possesses global expertise and technical prowess. Let's meet them today and listen to their successful investment story here in Korea. Today, I'm at the AVL Korea office with Mr. Gerard Hockman, Vice President of AVL Korea. Hello, sir. Good morning to you, too. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's an honor. I'm just curious, what brought AVL to the Korean market? And I'm asking this because it already possessed a world-leading technology at the time. Our owner, Professor List, uh, he always, since the beginning of the company, he's uh, very strong investing into innovation, into new research, in-house development. 
approximately 10 to 12 percent of our annual revenue every year we reinvest into our own development. And as I said before, we started very early already with electrification, also with fuel cells. So we, we look very early into hydrogen technology, fuel cell. We developed our own uh, fuel cell system. Uh, we actually recently also uh, purchased two companies in Canada. One did powertrain or fuel cell development, and the other company, Greenlight Innovation, they producing a measuring instrumentation for stacks for the fuel cell. So. These companies joined our family and now with this one we have over 30 years of experience also for fuel cell technology. Mm -hmm. And um, of course I believe in Korea with Hyundai the Heavy this was one of the key points where we said let's try to join hands, let's try to really bring this fuel cell system closer to industrialization. And I think this is how this discussion with Hyundai the Heavy started and uh, I think to now with this me uh, memorandum of understanding which we signed just recently we are on the right track also for that one, yes. Right, so change is a very important component of... Ab absolutely. Okay, so a lot of change is happening these days, right? And one of it is the transition into a um, hydrogen economy. And the Korean government enacted the world's first hydrogen law in February of 2020, and a lot of research projects are going on and to, to develop an infrastructure for a hydrogen economy is well underway. So my question to you is this, how have these policies affected your business? First of all, I believe the approach of the Korean government to really use funding like this into a specific area of economy is a very smart way to bring forward the country, and bring forward the companies working here in, in, in Korea. So um, I think now since the funding is there, uh, quite some Korean companies try to invest with this uh, funded money into these new technologies and they all want to be ahead in the race. So they want to gain knowledge as fast as possible and naturally they will look where they can gain or where they can find help to, to increase their, their, their knowledge for the, for the technology. And this is how the discussion, for example, again with Hyundai Heavy and AVL started on the fuel cell side. So now both companies can benefit even from this uh, Korean political approach to, to fund and to bring forward specific technologies. Right. So it's a win-win situation for everyone involved. Okay, that's good. Okay, so this is a question that we ask all our interviewees. Uh, based on your successful business model in Korea, any advice or tips for foreign investors that are targeting the Korean market? I think a key is communication. Communication, of course, to the customer, but also communication between foreign invested companies. I think uh, if you come to Korea and you're just standing on your own, you will have certain difficulties. So I can only uh, recommend to join some memberships like, for example, in FORCA, the Foreign Company Association, where our managing director right now is the uh, vice chairman, for example. These associations, they try to bring together the opinions from the different companies and they create together a quite a strong voice also to officials in public opinion, uh, public uh, 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 lawmakers. Okay, thank you. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for doing this. It was a lovely interview. Thank you very much for having the time to be here. Thank you very much for listening to me. <laughs> okay, thank you. That was Mr. Gerard Hockman, Vice President of Avial Korea. FDI Focus Korea will be back with more information for foreign companies hoping to invest in Korea. We wish you all the success here in Korea. And until next time, goodbye and good luck.